up, guys? Who is ready for the AirPod giveaway? Man, I cannot wait to see who wins this thing. I got some great stories. We're gonna go over those in a little bit. But first, I cannot believe I'm doing this, guys. The wheel of dare is what I'm gonna call this. McKenna, walk over here. Look at this. We're gonna spin this wheel. I'm gonna complete one of these dares. I mean, I'm looking at this one right here already. Shave head, shave my head, shave a stripe in my eyebrow, dye hair blue, eat a ghost pepper. No freaking way. Jump in the pool. It's 45 degrees today, guys. Um, and it's on here. They're double. Shave head, dye hair blue. Hopefully it doesn't land on that. I don't know what I want it to land on. I eat a ghost pepper. Man, are y'all y'all trying to kill me? You know, out of all of them, I'd probably take jump in the pool. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. No freaking way. Dye my hair permanently blue. Are y'all serious right now? Yeah. Can I back out? No. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be sick or what. Dye my hair blue? Here we go, guys. Well, we're gonna run to the store and I guess we'll be back. See y'all in a bit. Well, we're back. I'm still a little sick to my stomach right now. Get a good look. And let's even show this. Here's here's what it's gonna go from. So I'm, I'm somewhere in between there. And we're going to there permanently? Are you kidding me? Brad Mondo, you better see this. Y'all better tag Brad. I wanna hear what you gotta say. Let's go. And here we are, guys. Woo-wee. I'm gonna cry. I am seriously gonna freaking cry right now. If y'all see me cry, don't be telling nobody. Don't show nobody, don't tell nobody. This is stupid. This is absolutely stupid. Somebody's gonna have to bring me their phone and log into YouTube so I can start reading some of these uh, funny stories. Samantha, where are you at, girl? You need to be here right now. Samantha actually might be here uh, uh, in a couple days. The way uh, the coronavirus is going, I think everything in her town shut down, so she may be coming back. Me and Samantha may be matching hair. How crazy would that be? Oh, we've got Samantha on FaceTime. You are on my YouTube. I did the Wheel of Spin today. We're going to announce a winner today. That's great. Exactly. So we had a big wheel, and guess what it landed on? What? Shave your head. Nope. It landed on dye my hair blue permanently. It what? is going to be this color. Can you see that where you're at? Oh, my gosh. You're going to look crazy. It's going to be insane right now. Gonna it's going to be good. insane. We're going to be twinsies. I'm all in, guys. Holy crap. This is gonna turn blue. You right this is you where it's at. But nah, yes, it's all right. I think you need to take them off. All right, let's read this one by J-Man Vlogs. So when I was in Cub Scouts, we had to go door to door. Oh my gosh, door to door. That's the that's the <laughs> best. We went door to door asking people if they wanted to buy popcorn. And so it was day of the Ohio State Michigan game and my troop was out in the neighborhood at one of the houses. I met a customer and her name was Louise. So two weeks later, the shipments of popcorn came in and so we went back to the neighborhood and we brought the popcorn to all the people who bought off of us. Louise's house was one of the first houses on the list. Now, of course, me, me being a young little boy in third grade, I was very shy and didn't like to do any of the talking. But my mom, who was helping out, insisted that I go to the door by myself. She said to me, now, Joe, go up and ring the doorbell. And then Sorry. if they answer, ask, are you Louise? And so I went up and rang the doorbell. And lo and behold, this muscular, burly Hawaiian guy in an undershirt comes up to the door and says, and I say, are you Louise? <laughs> and the guy's reaction was priceless. I bet it was. He chuckled like full out belly chuckle and then said his booming voice, no, but I can still take that popcorn from you. And some of my friends laughed and so did the Scoutmaster. I don't know if people find this funny. I do. I find it hilarious. That's pretty good, man. Pretty good. Are we dying your beer? No. no. Like Heck no. Okay. Paris Lynn surprised. says, when I was younger, my eyebrows fell off. Like just disappeared. What? Ah. It's more to look at it. They look. grew back. It. Oh my god. They grew back, but it was confusing to everyone. Paris, Lynn, we need. I mean, wow. Holy cow! Show them how dark that is right now. That's how dark it is. Just by this just from uh, madeline langdon uh so when i was like seven or something i was at the dinner table and i wanted to be funny and said hey mom watch this and i thought i farted but i really sh you said pooped but uh but i really sharted 
who hasn't sharded out there? Who really hasn't sharded? You know what I'm saying? We all just want to be real with it. I mean, who really hasn't sharded a time or two? But sure, I don't care. Me. I have never Drew has never I sharded. Have, Drew has I have, never. I have, I have. My wife has never sharded. Um, I find it hard to believe, but. I have. Yeah, me, Kenny, and, and Darian, I'm sure have. Kareem Pratt, when I was 16, I sharded myself in my car. It was 3 a.m. Nowhere to go, so I had a cup in my car. I pulled over on the highway and I missed. You tried to poop in a cup? Oh my gosh. Call my best friend, bawling my eyes out. She just laughed for 20 minutes. It was the funniest thing to her. And I finally got home and asked my grandma to bring me a towel. She asked why I told her, don't bring it up to me. And I had to throw it out my seat cover and scrub my car down for an hour. But to this day, my best friend thinks it's hilarious. You know what? Corrine Pratt, I think it's the most hilarious video on here right now. You shatted yourself in the car. Sharded, shatted, sheeted yourself in the car and you tried to poop in a cup. You actually tried to poop in a cup. You win the AirPods. Congratulations. You tried to poop in a cup. Period. End of story. You tried to poop in a cup. You you win. You win. Let's... Hey, I appreciate everybody sending those in. Um, I had so much fun. My family and I, we read through every single one of them. Um, so... We definitely had a great time. My head is on fire a little bit right now. I not sure if that's normal or not. Um, um, don't think that I I'm even not. saw something that said if you had tattoos, it even makes you more riskier to be allergic, allergic, allergic or something. That's good because I got a whole sleeve of tattoos going yeah, on so here. Yeah, so that's perfect. Uh, for those of y'all, did y'all see my new one? Um, bring it in. Hashtag bring it in. All right, guys, we're going to pause, take a break. We'll be back. Guys, this is actually dying my skin right now. You can see my ears. I mean, y'all are turning me into an Oompa Loompa Smurf slash whatever. Checking back in with y'all. Holy cow, that's blue, guys. My skin is gonna be blue because my hair is so thin. I don't think I really thought this out. But you know what? A dare is a dare. If I say something, it goes down. It is what it is. It is what it is. So I got a funny story for you guys one time. I was probably 15 years old. I was at church camp. Had my eye on this girl. Her name was Jill. I thought, you know, the way I'm going to get to meet her is I'm going to follow her and I'm going to sit behind her. So you know how when you get in church and you, you're standing up and the pastor said, okay, you may be seated. I thought, well, I'll put my hand on the back of her chair so that way when she leans back, I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. And she'll turn around and we'll start a conversation. Being Mr. Cool I was, I put my hand back there. She leans back. I swear to y'all. I thought she broke my finger. I said, girl, you got like a bionic steel back. She's like, as a matter of fact, I do. Her back was broke. She had a back brace on and it was some kind of big metal thing and it literally <laughs> about broke my freaking finger. Long story short, I got a date out of it. Here's a funny story for y'all. We have 10 more minutes left. <laughs> I'm a 46 year old grown man that just dyed his hair blue. How am I gonna go out and see customers and They're gonna, what am I gonna do? With your my blue hair eyebrows. and then blonde eyebrows. And blonde I eyebrows. Hair, like... I can't dye my eyebrows blue. Hey guys, this is Blake, Billy's editor. If this video gets 1,000 likes, Billy has to dye his eyebrows blue. Let's make it happen. Whoa. Whoa. Time the is time up. is up, guys. I'm going to jump in the shower real quick, rinse this off. See what a fool I have absolutely made of myself because now we're not Billy Bisco, we're Billy Smurf. All right, guys, we just got out of the shower. Ready? Three, Three two, one. one. Oh, my Whoa. gosh. Oh. You have blue hair. Oh. Holy. I kind of like it. Okay, okay. A little gel. We'll do it up. Looks good. Whoa. Especially after you do your hair. What did I just do, guys? Did I just fall in love with myself? All over again? <laughs> Maybe I just needed a little blue hair to get, get back. Get back to the... <laughs> you guys, let's get Brad Mondo on this. See what his opinions are. From what we had to work with, guys, I don't have much hair. Corrine Pratt. There. Corrine Pratt. That is her story. You win. I'll be in touch with you very soon. For all you other guys, you know we'll be giving a bunch of stuff away. We're going to be doing some doctor middle of nowhere and trying to help you guys uh, sit down with your parents and work some things out. But uh, hey, I love you guys. Y'all bring it in. Have a great one until next time. So after we get done dyeing my hair, 
I see that we died my dog too.